Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Belle and today we're going to be talking about a product that I was really excited for but then didn't end up loving as much as I thought I would. And so I just wanted to share my thoughts, uh, share some comparisons and just talk to you guys about the product overall so that you can make an informed decision about purchasing it if you wanted to. So the product that I'm going to be talking to you about is the Super Goop Daily Dose Vitamin C Plus SPF. So this is a Daily Dose Vitamin C Plus SPF 40, which contains the power of vitamin C plus broad spectrum UV protection in a silky one-step serum for your healthiest and brightest complexion yet. It is the ultimate skin vestment in just a few pumps. Uh, and this is again by Super Goop, and this is $46 on their website, or I think it's the same price, $46 uh, US dollars on Sephora as well. Um, and when I saw this on Sephora, I was very excited. I've heard nothing but good things about Supergoop and their light, easy to use uh, sunscreen formula. So I definitely wanted to pick this up because I've been trying to incorporate uh, vitamin C into my skincare routine and I thought that having it in one step would make it a lot easier. Now, I do think that this uh, product is exactly what it claims to be, and I'm not trying to claim that it is not doing uh, what it says it's supposed to do. It has an SPF 40 and it has vitamin C in an all-in-one serum-like formula. Uh, I definitely think that all of those things are true. Uh, the problem I'm having with it is the uh, silky one-step serum. Um, and the fact that they're making this seem like this is a quick and easy uh, product to use that's going to feel silky and uh, lay nicely down on your skin. Uh, the issue I'm having with this is that the product, when applied, uh, and I have it applied to my skin, it's going to be hard to see, so I'm not even really going to zoom in. Um, but once it applies, it maintains a tackiness for a very long period of time. Uh, so, whereas some sunscreens that I use, and I'll give it a comparison in a minute, uh, apply and then s sink into your skin so that you don't have any sort of tackiness uh, or like too dewy of a look. I know SPF gives you that dewy finish, but uh, I'm talking about just having a less tacky, less dewy look, especially for someone like myself who likes to put powder on top. Uh, too much tacky uh, texture on my face just makes the powder look muddy and messy. Uh, and that's kind of what I feel like this product does. Overall, I was just a bit disappointed because I applied this to my face and then waited for it to kind of uh, dry down or have that silky finish. And I never really got there. It was always uh, very tacky and felt very heavy on my skin. Uh, something that I'm not really used to when applying my SPFs. I think for the price point of this product, I would have hoped that it would be a little easier to use, I guess, and a little less tacky. I wish there was just some way, uh, formulation-wise, that it would just sink in a little more to the skin instead of feeling like this thick, almost sticky, tacky layer on your uh, face, which is just kind of unfortunate. Uh, I do think that the packaging, and I want to note this really quickly, the packaging is really beautiful and it contains uh, one fluid ounce of product. I did think the packaging was going to be a little bigger, but honestly it is really beautiful and really cute. Uh, and I do like the fact that it's a pump instead of a jar. So the product that I'm going to compare it to is the product that I use every day and I am not in any means comparing formulation. Uh, I also want to point out that this is a lower SPF so I'm not trying to do like an apple to apple direct comparison of the product. I am really solely just talking about the experience, how I feel like the two products apply. Uh, if you're interested in formulations or uh, different sunscreens to use, I will link some skincare channels below. Uh, so definitely go and check those out uh, if you're interested in that. I'm just purely talking about how it feels um, and how it wears on the face or on the skin. 
So the sunscreen that I wear every day or have been wearing every day this past year is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost City Gel. Uh, this is a water gel sunscreen in broad spectrum SPF 25. Um, and it looks like this. For somebody who's uh, interested, I will link all these products down below as well, or any product that I mention in this video will be linked down below. Uh, but essentially the reason why I like this sunscreen is when I put it on my face, it will uh, kind of sink into the skin in maybe like a minute or so if you just give it uh, maybe like 30 seconds, 60 seconds of time. And then you can apply your powder over it. Uh, seeing as I don't wear foundation, I like to apply a powder, uh, maybe like the Laura Mercier one, or uh, I have some Maybelline powders that I really like that I will also link. If the sunscreen never sinks into your skin, then trying to apply the powder makes it feel really tacky and kind of uh, gives a weird look, at least to my skin. Uh, and I always feel like I'm just having a bad skin day when I wear the Super Goop one. And I feel like it has to do with the tackiness of it and that texture uh, catching the powder in weird ways. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of make a video to talk about this. By no means am I saying that this is not a good product. And if it works for you, I am very happy because the product is super cute and I wanted it to work for me so bad but I just don't think it is for me. Um, I am trying to use this product uh, because I don't like to waste anything. Um, so I'm trying to use it until it's done, but I have to say that I, every time I've worn this product, I either feel uh, tacky, I, I feel like my skin and my makeup just isn't sitting right, or it honestly sometimes just feels uncomfortable, uh, which is just unfortunate because I was so excited. Um, and I am going to tr probably try uh, another Super Goop sunscreen down the line uh, because I've heard nothing but good things about the brand and their lightweight sunscreen. So I'm assuming that it has something to do with the vitamin C that's causing this tackiness. Um, but comment down below if you use anything from this brand, if you've tried this product and you've either liked it or didn't like it, uh, if you've tried the Neutrogena one, or just comment down below what sunscreen you're currently using and if you're enjoying it or if you're looking for new ones, um, I would really appreciate it. I love hearing the comments and uh, going through and seeing the different products that you guys are using. Um, and if you like this content, uh, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to put out more content uh, and I'm trying to find different uh, topics to talk about that hopefully will interest you guys. So thank you so much, guys, and I hope you have a great day or night or morning or whatever time it is for you. Thanks so much. Bye.